I've been using the Google Gemini 1.5 Pro for the last two days and I'm here to tell you that this model is grossly underrated. In fact, I can guarantee you that this model can do things that no other AI model can do at this point. Let me quickly show you a demo of what do I mean by that. So I've got the Google AI Studio. I'll very quickly show you how to set this up if you get an access, but for now, if you got the AI studio, all I have to do is go upload a video. This is an, uh, this is a video that was not part of Google demo. I took this video from a YouTube short. So this is a YouTube short, some random person. So it says, does anybody, anyone else look at their books and think something, something so I can play this and it has a lot of books. So what I can do is I can literally upload this pic video here and this is a seven second video and this video has got 1841 tokens according to Google and I just said return 10 book names from this as a JSON. It's a very terrible prompt. If you see my English is not very good. I'm jumbling here and there. So I should have said, okay, return 10 names and make sure it is a JSON. So probably I could have made better in terms of the prompt, but you can see that I said this. And it gave me 10 names, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's try to find the book. If it is there, the cruel prince and the wicked king. So do we see the cruel prince and the wicked king somewhere? It should be. Yeah. So you can, I think this is the wicked king and uh, the cruel prince. Okay. You have got the mocking Jay. So you can see mocking Jay. I don't know what is before that. Uh, is it like hunger games? I'm not sure, but you can see how effective it is in taking out this video and then making sure that you get everything out of the video. And this is why I believe that Google has got at this point, I would say like for the first time, I believe Google is leading up the AI race in terms of video processing. See, fundamentally a video is nothing but a multiple frames of images stitched together. If you have seen animations when you're a kid, a video is nothing but a 30 frames stack stitched together and shown you in one second or sometimes 60 frames stitched together and shown you in one second. And that's why you have got 30 FPS video, 60 FPS video, and you've got like different kinds of videos. What Google is doing here is that Google is actually taking that video and splitting into frames and processing these frames and then giving you converting that into tokens and giving you whatever information that you need. Currently the video cannot process audio. That means like whatever the lady is talking there, it cannot tell you, but it does a pretty good job of giving you a result of whatever that you want from a video. It's not 100% accurate, but I think this is way beyond anything that competition can do at this point. Now, let me start from the very first. First of all, we are using Google Gemini 1.5 Pro model. This model came with 1 million context window. As you can see here, it comes with 1 million context window, 1 million tokens of context window, which is huge, which is like huge in production. I'm, I'm talking about production, I'm not talking about promises. I'm not talking about feature releases. I'm talking about literally production. People are using this 1 million tokens context window, which is huge. 1 million context window is almost equivalent to one hour of video. So I've tried it with one hour of video because I've been trying a lot. So it can take one hour of video and it can do a bunch of other things. You can uh, upload a file, you can upload a PDF, you can upload a folder, you can upload a folder of documents. You can just put literally text. You can do a bunch of things. Only thing that it cannot do at this point is audio. So leaving out audio, if you just see video, it can take things like this and give you back whatever you want. So if you go to Google AI studio, so you would get this interface first. You can go here, select the model. Let's say Gemini 1.5 pro. Once you select Gemini 1.5 pro uh, with Gemini 1.0, this is all disabled. Once you select Gemini 1.5 pro, you have got image, video, file, folder. Once you select video, you have a bunch of options. You can use the sample videos that they've given you and ask any question that you want. Or you can just go ahead because we don't trust whatever they have given. You can go upload it from your drive, Google Drive, or you can just upload it locally from your file. Literally, that's all. So click browse and then you have got a bunch of things. You can just go upload whatever that you would like to upload. For example, I can upload this video. I don't know what this video is. Hopefully it's not something um, controversial that I should not share. So I've uh, this is probably some Twitter video that I've downloaded and I've got the video. Okay, uh, I guess I know what the video is. This video is right now it has got 8,153 tokens. So I can go ahead and then say describe this video. That's it. 
all I have to say is describe this video. So it's going to understand or it has already understood what is in the video because it has taken the video, sliced the frames, tokenized it. So it has got the entire understanding. The video shows a man hammering a piece of metal in a blacksmith forge. The man is wearing a black shirt and pants. And if you know who is that man, that man is none other than our Mark Zuckerberg. And he's using a large hammer to strike the metal. The man is working in a traditional Japanese blacksmith shop. This is highly accurate because if you see this video, I'll link the video for you. This is like um, Mark Zuckerberg recently went to some Japanese katana. Uh, I don't know, is the katana is like, I think the sword. So he's actually making the sword. Uh, so you can see that um, it, it is strikingly good. And uh, the only thing is it says several other people are watching him work. It's only one other person. Go here, create a new chart. And once you create a new chart and come, go select G Gemini 1.5 Pro, upload a video. Let's say in this case, what I in fact did is, I in fact uploaded the one hour video of Andri Karpati, uh, introduction to large language models. And this video is uh, without audio, right? So Google Gemini cannot process audio. Even for this video, Google Gemini came up with a very good summary just by looking at the text. Like all it did is OCR, optical character recognition, but from video, and then it gave me a very good summary and with timestamp, which is like kind of mind blowing. So upload another very short video because longer video takes time. Uh, you can see video added, a sample of video frames will be processed. Audio is not supported. So it is a four second video. It's a cricket video and um, it has got 1,315 tokens. So I can go ahead and then say, create a commentary of this. That's it. So now the potential here is that I can literally go here and then give something and then imagine you have got a real time commentating. Uh, it's not necessarily real time, but it is, it is good. So bowler runs up and delivers the ball. The batsman hits it in high into the air and the ball is caught by the fielder and the batsman is out. So it has a pretty good job of explaining what is in the video. So let me show you another demo. Maybe in this case, I'm going to show you a live demo of what it could be. So I'm going to go to one of the places where uh, where I've got a bunch of things. Let's say I'm going to go here. This is LLM Alchemy Chamber. Uh, this is from a very recent tutorial that uh, Aditya contributed. So I can, I'm not sure if I can record because I'm already recording my sc screen. So I'm going to open QuickTime Player and I'm going to go here, click a quick screen recording. I'm going to just record this. I'm going to record this and I'm going to just scroll here. So like this, like this, like this, that's it. Now, after I do this, I'm going to stop this and I have that video. So you can see I have this video. The video looks like this. It's a six second video. It has got audio also, which we don't need at this point. I'm going to go back to Google. Okay. I've got privacy browsing. That's strange. I'm going to go back to Google and I'm going to say add video, upload the video. Probably it's in my desktop, go to my desktop, get the video and it's a 9 MB video. And once I upload the video here, you would start seeing that it started processing. As you can see, it is, uh, it is being processed. Now the frames are being added uh, longer the video, the more time it will take to process because as you know, the video processing usually takes time. So give me everything that you see on this video. Let's see what happens, whether it does a good job. So I've got 1,578 tokens. I don't think it can understand chart, but uh, that is a follow up question that we are going to ask. Okay, the video shows the GitHub repository called text to image diffusions model, which is not right. Text to image uh, diffusion is one of the items. The graph shows the repository has been steadily growing. Okay, can you describe the graph more? Describe the graph more. So let's go and then see the graph ourselves. So I've got the graph. So which is, it's a star history. Uh, I think it's like 12 stars. Okay, that's good. 12 stars. Let's add a star. Cool. Uh, it's got 26 stars now. Okay. Somehow GitHub was telling me that I can't perform this action. I don't know if they don't like me. Okay, go. let's go back. The graph shows uh, it again sticks to the same repository. Uh, the repository has over 11,000 stars. Um, I think it understood that the 11 has 11,000. So that's a part of hallucination it does as of Feb 8. So which is Feb 18. So there are a little bit things that it does not do good. But as you can see, it provides a window of opportunity where you can process high volume of video and it can do a pretty good job. And 
this is a very good example of where it has to still improve. See the the video is good, the one million token is good, but the way it processes the video, I think it matters a lot, and that is why you would see that these kind of things happening. So let me show you one more example here. So I'm going to refresh this. I'm going to go back again to my GP 1.5, create a new chat prompt, leave this. I'm back 1.5, click the video, upload the video. And this time, uh, let me upload the other screen recording that I did recently, which is Hugging Face Daily Paper. So I went to Hugging Face's Daily Papers page and then I started recording. And uh, I'm going to ask again, once again, OCR job, can you list the list of papers um, from this? Okay, let's, uh, let's let it process. And I'm going to share this so that it can actually give me the response. Sent this. And uh, the video, I think the first one is G Genie. Genie is the paper name. I think it's from Google. Probably I might cover this. It says generative interactive environments. So, okay, it gave me Genie generative interactive environment concept gen. I think the concept gen name is wrong, but this is right. And then you have got a couple of uh, couple of um, hallucination or rubbish things. Then you have got Clove. Then you have got Mobile LM, which is 100% accurate. So it took eight seconds of video, sliced it into frames, and then gave me the right kind of output that I would like to see. And this is not just like one response. So I can just go ahead and then say, uh, what does the first paper, what could the first paper mean? First paper mean. So it will just come up with the own definition of what the first paper is. See, what you are seeing is not simply an OCR system. That's something that you need to understand. It's not a system that just like slices the videos and then tries to give you what objects in it. It is a multi modal model. So it's a large language model with a vision capability. That means it is beyond what you get from a typical OCR system. It's not a CCTV or security camera monitoring system. While you can use it for this, this is much more than that. Imagine the amount of video data that we have in this world and the possibilities of digitization or uh, making it into structured information. I think Google is the company or at least at this point, the way the large language model is positioned, uh, Google Gemini 1.5 Pro. I think this is one of the best solutions to do this. And this does not stop here. So I've uh, I tried it with uh, there is there is another um, actually like a program um, a code called a money printer, which is quite viral these days on GitHub. So I tried it with that. I tried it with a bunch of other things like simple PDFs, uh, text and all the other things. And it does a tremendously good job. And I would like to keep that for the next couple of videos in this uh, series. I'm definitely so obsessed with this model and I, I'm happy. I'm happy that this model is doing pretty good despite all the other things happening with Google. If you have any idea that you would like to try me out, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I think this is great. Like, uh, let me know if you think Google has got the mode, especially with multimodal model. This can also do multilingual processing, which I will definitely try when I make a dedicated video for multilingual capabilities of Gemini 1.5 Pro. Subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. See you in another video. Happy prompting.